Well, not too bad of a day here in central Iowa. It's about 60 degrees out right now. Had uh, had quite a bit of rain here the last couple days. I think two plus inches. A lot of wind. It's rather breezy out right now, so I'm not going out any farther than this. You might be picking up a little bit of wind noise, but you really probably shouldn't be chewing on old barn wood. But how are you gonna stop them, right? Bud, buddy, he doesn't care. Anyway, today, what we're doing, as you can see the shop that little intro there the shop is a mess just a, a mess i haven't really been doing much of anything down here uh, except getting getting things cleaned out got all the license plates off still got two up there i gotta take down got toolbox moved over I need to get all my tools and stuff out of here where they are it doesn't get wet but i can tell you right now yesterday in here this whole floor was wet. There was actually like where that front tire is, there was water standing right there. And uh, yeah, I got the green truck out and gonna be doing a little bit of work on that. And I'll be telling you exactly what we're gonna be doing here shortly. Something this truck has never had done to it before. But probably by the title of this uh, video, maybe you already know, I, I don't know, but one other thing I need to do, I need to grab a little flashlight here. One other thing I need to do, power steering pump last fall started, uh, started moaning a little bit. And it was just that moan that she's low on power steering fluid. And I knew it was leaking a little bit um, where it would sit, just be little drips. I don't remember how many years ago I put that Saginaw pump in this, uh, in this truck, but it does have it does have a little leak right down in there if you can it's better without the flashlight or with but there's a hose that connects right down there if you can see that and it's leaking right where it goes into the power steering pump or not the right where it goes into the power steering anyway it's leaking right there so i may try to snug that up if i can get down to the darn thing but uh first off i'm gonna put some new blood in this it's that time of year time to start driving her again we got the salt off the roads and i don't think we're gonna get any more snow and ice and that kind of stuff uh gosh it was i think it was close to 80 degrees yesterday yesterday day before or both i don't know but anyway going to uh gonna put some new blood in the girl and uh what we're using is something this truck has never had. Ever since I bought this truck, all it's had in it is Pennzoil 530. And well, except one time, I took it down to the dealership. I had the clutch pedal was, uh, there's a, the rod that goes through the firewall there, making a squeaking noise. That's when it was pretty new and I had them fix that. And they went ahead and did an oil change on it and they put Quaker State in it. I drove it home and I changed the oil in it right away back to Pennzoil 530. And all I've ever used is 530 Pennzoil. Maybe I've, I've probably used 1030 or 1040 a time or two, but uh, Pennzoil conventional oil. And I was trying to find that. That stuff's getting hard to find. Walmart doesn't have it. Uh, the O'Reilly's that I went to didn't have it. And I looked online and actually I thought Home Depot had it. I saw oil there at a pretty good price. Well, it's been a couple years ago, so I looked it up online and it looked like they, they had it. And uh, so I went to pick some up and they kind of tricked me because uh, these bottles, well, this, this one in the middle, 
this is an old old bottle we got we got the heater running up here so probably that's what you're hearing but these uh these look just like the old conventional uh jugs and you know quart bottles so i picked those up real quick dogs are wanting back in and i didn't notice <laughs> they're, they're going at it out there anyway i didn't notice right down here it says synthetic blend so uh that's what the girl is gonna get that's what i got and i figure what the heck let's give it a try i don't know how many people probably a lot i don't know how many people have switched from uh jesse's wanting in that's what she does when she wants in she scratches at the door come on anyway i don't know how many people run full synthetic in these old trucks i've thought about it and uh but i thought i found what i had always run in it which is conventional but it's synthetic blend so we're gonna run that and see what happens uh you hear lots of rumors about leaks and that kind of stuff uh, switching from conventional to synthetic is going to cause leaks and personally personally i don't really believe that i think it probably can if you if you already have a potential leak uh it it may may start leaking but uh but this truck does not that, that that's from the diesel truck right there that uh is no longer in here but uh this truck doesn't leak any oil or anything so it's had the oil changed every 3,000 miles or less since it was brand new. I'm the original owner of it. And well, except once, there was one time, <coughs> hey, hey, trying to make a video here. One time where it went, um, I think it was like 5,000 miles. And why don't you guys just go outside here. Making things difficult. One time where I think it went 5,000 miles. But uh, other than that, its whole life, it's had oil changed at least every 3,000 miles. Lighting is not real good in here. <laughs> that bulb's gone. That bulb's gone. That one's can't, where, where am I? That one can't decide if it's gonna work or not. And uh, that one doesn't work at all. They're slowly kind of burning out. If you don't know, the roof blew off. The whole south side of the barn, and it, it, goes way up over here and when it rains outside like it has the last couple of days it basically rains in here the roof up here or the ceiling i should say is, uh, what i just kicked there a piece of metal yeah it's not looking too good it's it's really uh not doing good i, I came down here yesterday and this this whole wall was wet the floor was just well, it was sweating as well, but it was also just, there was just water dripping everywhere. And just coming through all the gaps and stuff. I come down here every day to feed the cats. I do have one, uh, one new addition here. I've been letting Mama Kitty and, and this little guy, hey, are you awake? Oh, I'm so tired, leave me alone. That little guy, he's doing doing pretty good. I just keep sticking and shut it, and so I clean them off and open them up for him. But might get some medicine from the vet for him tomorrow or her. I haven't really checked. But anyway, she only had four, and the other three died. So anyway, I'm going to. This isn't really a how-to video. I'm going to crawl underneath this, and I'm not going to record it because the lighting sucks, and I just don't really have a good way to do it. Get under here, take out the drain plug, get the oil out of this thing, take the filter off, and then I'll bring you back in. All right, so we've got the, the plug out and the oil filter off of this thing. She's draining out, probably, I probably got oil going. Yeah, it's actually going in, not making a big mess. And I really didn't care if it did. But anyway, I'm just gonna let that, uh, let that sit there for quite a while get all the oil out of that you can tell she's a little little dusty under the hood here need a little detailing done just from uh, driving last year and sitting over in the old shop she's uh, I don't know if you can tell or not she's she's a little a little dusty but anyway yeah in this shop got a little uh, little fungi growing uh growing up there had some coming coming down out of there 
it died i knocked it down that was quite a while ago but anyway i'm gonna let the oil drain out of this also going to uh grease it especially the u-joints and then we'll put some uh put some new oil in this the uh, synthetic blend we'll see how that works might go full synthetic if it turns out okay i don't know conventional oil or at least the conventional pens oil that i've always used it's just getting hard to find but uh anyhow anyhow i'm just gonna let let the oil fully drain out of this girl and uh put the plug back in put a new filter on it and fill it back up with oil all right so we're going to uh put this synthetic blend new blood into this girl we'll see how it goes Maybe I'll go full synthetic if we don't have any problems here. I always put six quarts in these and then I get people saying, no, they only take five. No, it takes six with the filter. So that's what we're doing. Five quarts down. One more to go. All right, we got the oil in it. This funnel off here, I need to get a towel for the funnel. So hold on. Done. Okay, now that we have the blood changed in this, we're gonna fire it up, make sure we don't have any major leaks. I did make a mess under here. There's, <laughs> I moved the, the pan over here to get the oil out of the oil folder and uh, yeah, kept dripping out of the oil pan of the truck. I don't care, that's fine, whatever. But anyway, let's get her fired up and we'll see, uh, see if we have any leaky leaks. Only done that one time where I had one of the gaskets. I didn't check to make sure it wasn't off of the hold on off of the filter and uh yeah it leaked everywhere. Yeah, I'll turn turn these on. For some reason these don't come on all the time over there. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Pressure's up. Check underneath here, make sure we're not leaking anything. Don't think we are. Not that I can see anyway. I'm gonna let her sit here and run just a couple of minutes. I know you should pro probably shouldn't do that inside a closed building but uh, I think we'll be okay we I got enough ventilation in here we've had some insulation fall out well the, the gap over here in the roof there, there I think there's enough uh, airflow through here right at the moment it's not gonna make too much difference and Jesse wants out don't you girl come on Jess I know Bud lets himself out he just pushes the door open it's like a bulldozer let that run just for a minute or so, just make sure everything's okay, and shut her off. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, it's time to turn her off. Nope, no leaks or anything. So now, uh, get down out of this thing. We need to, uh, need to address the power steering issue, which I may wait until tomorrow to do. Um, Jody's got some stuff cooking up in the house, some kind of... Some kind of, uh, it's potato and ham and green bean type of, I, I guess it's a soup kind of thing. We were going to make a video on that on, uh, on the Fox Shop, the Hungry Fox, not the Fox Shop BBQ, although you can find it probably easier if you look up the Fox Shop BBQ or if you look up the Hungry Fox and then put BBQ after that, you can probably find that. I'll link it down below in the in the little description box as well. 
We were going to make a video on that and then decided not to, but uh, we are doing ribs. Doing some ribs in uh, in the crock pot here. I don't, don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or the next day, but uh, but you might want to go over there and check that out. We're going to start doing a lot more cooking outside as well on that channel. Um, it's just it's just been rotten outside. It's been cold and wet and windy, and things just aren't working out. But anyway, at least have the oil changed in this. That uh, oh the darn power steering thing. I. I'm hoping I can just tighten up, probably can't see, just tighten up that that nut down there and then I'll stop the leak. If not, I'm not sure what's going on there. Probably have to take it all apart and figure it out. But uh, I think maybe we'll, maybe, maybe we'll get into that tomorrow. Just not really feeling it right now. I think I am gonna crawl underneath here though. I'm not gonna do it on camera, but crawl underneath here and grease the uh grease the u-joints at least and well probably the steering components up in here anyway guys we'll we'll probably catch up with you tomorrow because i'm getting kind of hungry and uh i'm gonna head up to the house so we'll uh we'll catch you tomorrow and also one thing i did want to mention i i do use the motorcraft fl1a filter on on this truck these are actually made by pure later um, I guess for Ford specifications, I don't know. I used to use wicks on on this truck. So I, as often as I change the oil on this thing, it probably really doesn't matter what kind of oil or what even brand of filler you use, but I think these are probably uh, pretty good fillers. And uh, wicks seems to keep changing on who their manufacturer is, so I'm just not sure on that. But anyway, we'll catch you tomorrow and we'll work on that power steering. Well, it is the next day, and I've got Buddy Boy down here. Mama Kitty's in here. We got uh, got some medicine for the little kitty over here. His, her poor eyes were stuck shut. I got them open, and a whole bunch of pus came out of them. Put some medicine in them, and I think she's wanting to get down and get around, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, on the truck. I'm probably not going to show, let me get a flashlight here, not going to flashlight, flashlight, there it is. Probably not going to show a whole lot here just because of the difficulty of showing it all. But uh, power steering pump down there, it's leaking right, uh, right out of that, if you can see, hope you can see that fitting right down there. So I'm going to get down there and try to Try to tighten that up a little bit. Might have to take, I don't know if I can get down there without taking the, the air snorkel thing off. Maybe these hoses off, I don't know. And uh, see if I can snug, it, snug that up just a bit. Bud's wanting outside again. I looked at this earlier and I was like, how the heck are you gonna get, uh, get the cap off the power steering? power steering pump there when you got that line on top of it well you can and uh, let me do that here real quick probably can't see what I'm doing but you can get it off tilt it out just a little it's a little bit tricky there get her out and you can see on the stick here at least I think you can there's barely barely any fluid on there if any right at the very tip So uh, yeah, we're we're almost dry on the uh, on the power steering. So anyhow, going to uh, try to tighten that fitting up. Not sure what size it is, and get some fluid in that thing, and hopefully things will be okay. Um, I did get the U joints, got them uh, greased up last night. Yeah, Bud's on now. What are you chewing on, Bud? Bud. What are you eating? I hope it's not insulation. But anyhow, uh, got the U-joints and everything greased up. She's ready to go, just need to get the power steering, uh, <laughs> power steering at least topped off. And I looked up, it was four years ago that I put that pump on. So even if it does leak a little tiny bit, um, I, think, I think we're gonna be good to go here for a while. I don't have a long funnel. I used to, 
and uh, I can't find it. So anyway, I'm gonna put this put this back on for the time being, and uh, and see if I can tighten that fitting up just a little bit. And uh, I'll bring it back in, let you know how things go, get fluid in it, and pretty much done, ready, uh, ready to roll. Well, I got that taken care of. Only took a couple of minutes, really. Um, I went down, I tightened up that fitting. I've had this thing running a little bit. I probably should have showed it on video, but it uh, doesn't seem to be leaking anymore. I did overfill the, uh, the power steering pump and had to suck some of the fluid back out of there. But right now it's down just above the cold mark on that. So I think we're good. And I think that's, I think we got her tight on there. I did take the air tubes off, got to put them back on. And other than that, I think, uh, other than that, I think she's good to go. I think we're done for now with the green truck and uh, she's good to go now for for a while, well, not done. I gotta put these air tubes back on. Might not be good if I didn't do that, but. So anyway, with that being said, if you would, give this video a big old thumbs up. Comments go down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.